The Jungle Book A Quick Synopsis Mowgli lived in the jungle for many years with Akela's wolf pack. They lived in peace and harmony. One day, a tiger named Shere Khan found out about the man-cub living in the jungle and wanted Mowgli for himself. In order to protect the human child, Akela, the pack leader, sent him off on a journey to live in the man village where he would be safer. Mowgli met many friends along the way, such as Baloo, some vultures, and many more. The large concept evident in the Jungle Book was the evidence of feral children. Feral or wild children are kids raised by animals without any human socialization. Mowgli, the human child in the Jungle Book, was separated from his parents as a baby and was taken in by a pack of wolves. Ferals have often been studied to provide input on the nature versus nurture debate. In terms of nature, characteristics that one is born with, Mowgli is biologically human and shares the same body characteristics as humans. On the other hand, nurture, characteristics due to outside influences. Due to the fact that Mowgli was raised by wolves, he shared several characteristics with them such as barking and howling, running on all fours, being a skilled climber, and being able to communicate with other jungle animals such as elephants and apes. Mowgli was also seen with elongated arms and legs and had large bare feet, so it is presumed that his body adapted to the environment that he was living in. In this case, nurture seems to win out over nature due to the fact that Mowgli had skills that many socialized humans don't. Next, we have socialization. Primary socialization. Mowgli was not socialized with humans, but rather with animals, and this had a large impact on his life. When Mowgli found out that he had to leave the jungle to escape the tiger Shere Khan, he was torn due to the fact that he had become attached to his wolf family. Raksha, his wolf mother, taught him how to survive in the wild with skills like finding food and protecting himself, proper social skills within the pack, in other words, knowing Akila was the leader of the pack, and the law of the jungle that the pack recites in unison to create unity. Secondary Socialization Throughout Mowgli's journey, he had to learn how to fit in with certain groups throughout the jungle. For example, Mowgli had to learn how to fit in with the line of elephants as he learned their way of life. The youngest elephant of the group taught Mowgli how to properly conduct himself. This way, Mowgli then knew how to properly fit in. As well as when he had to learn the hierarchy of the apes and King Louis. The rest of the apes followed Louis like their king, but Mowgli did not conform and therefore he was punished. Anticipatory Socialization Once Mowgli reached the human village, he was unsure how to react to the young lady fetching water. In this case, Mowgli was put into a situation that he had never been in before. If this wasn't the case, Mowgli would have been able to anticipate how to properly conduct himself in front of a young lady. Conformity Conformity can be defined as compliance with standards, rules, or laws. The most evident form of conformity in the Jungle Book was the way that Mowgli seemed to lose all sense of his wild self when he followed the young girl into the human village. He then chose to conform to human ways and forget his own. This would entail getting rid of his actions that aren't considered a social norm. These would include howling, running on all four feet, and climbing. An act of conformity because Mowgli is releasing all sorts of mannerisms that he once knew and is replacing them for the ones of the larger group. Other acts of conformity that Mowgli committed are conforming to the elephant's way of life and conforming to Baloo's relaxed manner of living. In Baloo's case, the large bear tells Mowgli that you don't need to work for what you need, but rather it'll come to you. Mowgli instantly believed him and decided to follow Baloo's lifestyle until Bagheera came and talked reason into him. Mowgli is a feral child as a result of being brought up in the wild. Some body characteristics and abilities differ than a usual human being's due to the fact that the first years of his life took place in a rougher environment. His mother, the pack, and the friends he met along the way to the human village helped round out all the aspects of Mowgli's socialization. And finally, Mowgli fit into the human village as a result of conformity.